Danny. Well, it looks like we have three little girls here today. Come down to the front here, ladies. If you care to. Good to see you. I, I like to see what all you're wearing. All you're wearing is different. I love those shoes. They look like they just dance. What's wrong with your mouth? You got a hole in your teeth? Come up here. I took a picture of you the other night with that tooth missing. Show everybody that missing tooth. <laughs> and I had strict orders. I do not post that until her mommy does. So your mama hasn't posted anything about your missing tooth. I'm about to lose patience. Because I really like it. Tooth fairy come. Yeah, a little paganism in the Buell family. It's, it's, oh, it's all right. <laughs> How much money did you get? Ten dollars? <laughs> and here my teeth are falling out, and I'm not getting anything for them. All right, what's that? <clears throat> I want to talk to you today about pieces. Are your teeth falling out too? Smile at me. Let me see. No. I lost a few of my teeth. And then they grew back, huh? <coughs> They get to be my age when they go. They're gone. <laughs> you have baby teeth and then old person teeth, and you usually keep them in a jar of water up the side of the bed. <laughs> I want to talk to you today about pieces. Pieces. And I have a piece of money, a coin. Tell me your name again, baby. I'm, I forgot. Elizabeth. Somebody. Elizabeth? You like Grace? Grace. Grace, come right up here. I'm going to give you this. This is a 50 cent piece. It has President John F. Kennedy on the front. And I don't remember what that is on the back. Take that. Sit down with me just a minute. I'm, I'm going to ask it back here in just a minute, but I want you to look at it. Show it to Avery. Let Avery see that. 50 cent piece. Hmm? I'm sorry, you don't know what. Avery's the one without any teeth. Yeah, I'll show her. <laughs> and then Avery, if you would, after you look at that from Grace, show it to Addison. Addison has all of her teeth. Oh, yeah. I've lost 16 now. You've, you've lost how many? 16. 16? <laughs> My goodness. I used to know how many teeth were in a person's mouth. But I don't. Give it back to Grace. 50 cent piece. Oh, 50 cent piece. A coin. Uh, I have some boxes of puzzles here. And I don't know if you've ever even probably put some puzzles together on your tablet. But these are little pieces, they're jigsaw puzzles. You spread it out on the table and, and you make the picture just like on the box here. This has 300 pieces. And there's one with a snowman on it. 300 pieces. I'm talking to you about pieces. That's puppies on this one. And you put it together, put all the pieces together in the right way, and it winds up looking just like that. And uh, there's a horse and some butterflies. Before you go sit down, don't let me forget, come up here and get one of these, okay? Take it home with you. I don't care what you do with it as long as it's gone. Just take it and say, Brother John gave this to us today. You still got that coin? All right, don't lose it. Don't spend it. Now, I want to go all the way around the barn to tell you something about that coin and about pieces. I want to knock on this right here. Now, there's a special knock that old people will recognize when I do it. They may not know everything about it, but uh, I want to find out what you know about it, okay? There's a special knock. It's kind of like a knock-knock joke. When I say knock-knock, you say, Who's there? Boo. Uh, there's no need to cry. It's just a joke. <laughs> Boo hoo. That's right. I'm going to do part of this knock and see it. You don't have anything to knock on probably, but you can just say knock or whatever. I want to see if you, have you ever heard this before? It goes. 
They don't do hell. <laughs> Who did that? Was Ronnie did that? Was Liz did that? Be quiet. Henry, did you do that? No. Y'all be quiet. Was it Linda? <laughs> Linda did. Danny did. <laughs> I don't even know if you heard that, but did you hear it? I've heard it before. You have? What's the answer? Are right, we going to get Uncle Danny to do the answer? Then he goes, that's it. Now let's see how smart he is. There are words that go to it. What are the words? See, he don't know. <laughs> Somebody here knows the words to that. It's the words to it. It's a little song. Skunk in a rat hole, tight fit. No. That's right. Shave and a haircut. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. Six bits. Two bits. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. Now, during the time when the Spanish dollar was first minted, it was sectionalized. Bring that coin back up here, Grace. Let me see. It's illegal now to cut a coin. I've got a, a magic wand right here. It is illegal to cut this up. You're not allowed to. You can't turn it into pieces. But when the when the Ameri when the uh, Mexican peso or the Mexican dollar was, do you know? Have you ever heard of a peso as a Mexican coin? This is not a Mexican coin. The Spanish word peso means peace. It's peace. Now, what I want to do is show you something about pieces and coins. What they used to do when they made change, they would say, well, this is so many bits. There were, they could, the uh, first Mexican dollar was cut up into eight pieces. You had two bits, four bits, six bits, and a dollar. That's part of a cheer. We're going to get me to get up and do that cheer here in just a minute. All four hearts will stand up and holler. That's good. This is very deeply ingrained in our culture, evidently. All of this. Now, so you make change. You give somebody, break off part of the coin and give them a piece. And uh, since they're were, they cut it up into bits, do you know what the Mexican peso, what it it was commonly known as during that time, you know what they called it? Pieces of eight. Pieces of eight. You know, you know what I think of when I think of pieces of eight? I think of pirates. The pirates of the Caribbean. Pieces of eight. That was talking about the, uh, the American peso. Now, our life is like a puzzle and God gives you certain pieces and he wants you to put them together. Now there's, look at there, there's President Kennedy. I should have found out. Brian, what's on the back of a Kennedy half dollar? It's a tall building and it doesn't look like a capital, but it might be the capital. It might be the U.S. capital. All right, now watch here. Can you see that? Here's the profile of the president's face. Come up here again, Grace. Hold out your hand. There's one piece. The second piece. And the third piece. All right, go back and show that to Avery and Addison again. I want them to see that. Back up to here. One piece. 
peace. What God wants to do, thank you very much for your help. What God wants to do with the pieces in the parts of our life is He wants us to assemble them and to put them together. like putting a puzzle together. But when he's finished with it, he wants it to have value. Can you do that? Flip it back to me and let's see if I can catch it. No, flip it with some. <laughs> you can't just throw a point. <laughs> put, it on, put it on your pointer finger. Put your thumb right up underneath it and flip your thumb. <laughs> okay, just throw it at me then. <laughs> <laughs> Just catch it. Good run. Just hand it to me. I'm old. That's all right. I can't see. <laughs> now come up here and get you a puzzle. Which, whichever one you like. Puppies, horses, butterflies. Be sure to say thank you, Brother John. <laughs> Say, thank you, Brother John. <laughs> thank you. Hey! Hey. Oh, the other one. The little one. The tiny one. Thank you. Thank you, Brother John. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Brother John. No. Thank you, Pops. If you take it home and throw it away, that's all right. There's no telling, all right? Sometimes my life looks like a mess, but I know because God is good that all pieces fit. And He's going to lead me and show me where things should go, how things should be. And so all the pieces and the parts will fit together. All right? Daniel, come and continue to lead us as we sing. <laughs>